okay guys so we are going to install the react native cli so how can you do that just go to a specific folder where you are going to install the framework so let's suppose if you are going to install the framework here in this folder just type cmd and open the command prompt fine so if you are going to create the folder or if you are going to install the react native in a specific folder you have to go to that particular folder like this one and type cmd make sure i am a windows user so if you are a mac user or linux user you can find out how can you do that so so this is the first one the second one if you are going to uh if you are going to search and type cmd same so you have to go to the proper folder so let's suppose i am saying laragon and directory that is the same one which we are doing with this shortcut right so now that means you are going to install the react native framework in this directory ww directory so what are the prerequisites before installing the react native framework so first of all you have to install the node.js so i have already installed the node.js so as you can see this is the node.js i'm using the 12.11.0 version second you have to install the npm which is a node package manager that is a dependency manager for the js like if you are working with the php you have a composer and if you are working with the python you have the pip so all are the dependency managers and uh, then you have to install the android studio so let's open the chrome now type node.js as you can see this is the official website of the node.js you can also click on the home page you can also click on the download page both are the same thing click on the node.js and install the version make sure this is a 12.15.0 version which is the latest version of the node.js family you can just click on the node.js and install it or download it once it once you have the download setup then you have to click on the install and then you have to follow the process fine so let's suppose it's saying uh, next and it's saying accept it's saying yes and you are going to install node.js in this one make sure if you will have uh some kind of options like set the global variables just make sure you have to check that particular options so i have already installed it so that's why i'm not going to install it fine so you have to install the android studio android studio so this is the android studio you can download the android studio from here or from the chat tools. just click on the download button and install this particular one make sure while installing the android studio you have to enable the virtualizations and some other some other kind of things which support the android so you can use the virtual devices or something like that so now uh, i'm going to install the react native so you have to use the npx and react native and also you have, i'm saying community cli and init and you have to use your project name so let's suppose i'm saying first react native project that is the project name that means you are going to create a folder with this one and the package is available or the framework is available in this particular folder you have to click on the install button it will automatically execute the process so it's saying downloading the templates copying the templates processing the templates if you are doing this first time definitely uh, it takes time so it's really depend upon you also um, if you have the internet connections or the speed of the internet so wait for the few seconds or the few minutes until we have the setup once you have the setup then you have to install the uh, then you have to start the cli then you have to run as a run right okay so now you have successfully downloaded the react native so if you go to the folder here as you can see you have downloaded 
the react native so large file as you can see you have a lot of files available here in the root directories we're gonna discuss about these one and you have some kind of folders available so this is the native folder so so let's suppose if you are going to change something for the android operating system you have to change from here so if you are going to change something from the ios or if you are going to need the some functionality you have to use the ios so this is the node mod modules where you are if you are downloading the packages so all the packages available here so this is your app file and you also have the app dot script file so this is your entry point we're gonna discuss about these one but for now you have to execute or start the server i'm saying for starting the server you have to enable or you have to go to the inside the project so let's suppose i am saying uh, dir so the project name is as you know we have created with the first so i'm going to copy this one copy control c and now i'm saying cd and pasting that means i'm going inside this particular folder once you have once you are inside the folder you have to npx react native start it will start the okay so now it's saying starting dev server on the localhost 880 port fine so now you have to now execute with the command so i'm saying cmd another one because you have to open this one if you are going to close this one your framework won't work fine so we have another cmd command i'm saying npx react native run and write so you have to click on the enter button before doing this you have to enable the developer mode from your android device fine so i have infinix note 40 pro so i have to go to the settings find the operating system just press five to seven times that will enable the developer mode okay guys so now first of all you go to the settings and find the operating system press on the button you have to press several times until unless you will show that you are now the developer since i am already the developer so that's why go to the settings now here find the developers you have to enable the developer and according to your need you have to uh, ensure that uh, everything is enabled so i am going to enable the, this one so now wait a few seconds i'm going to okay this one fine so that is the warning they are giving to you that please make sure that everything is fine and you are familiar with them what you are going to do so you have to select some other kind of options if you are going to enable them like this one and other kind of options which is mainly available here okay so now uh, i'm saying npx create native run and write but before doing this you need a few things if you are going to do this you will have the error why because you have to tell that where is the android sdk so that's why you are having the error it's saying define a valid sdk located or the locations with the android home fine so this is the first one the second one you have to enable the developer mode from your device because i'm going to check the screens or the react native uh, framework from my device which is android device so go to the settings go to the find the operating system press some kind of buttons like five to seven times you will have the developer modes we will do that but for now you have to create a specific file so now because 
I have installed the SDK here in this drive. So if I open this one, let me show you. Okay, so I'm saying. Just remove the one. Now, copy paste. This is my SDK. So that's why I'm saying go to this one and find the SDK. So now you have to copy this one and create a file. What is the file name? Make sure where you have to create the file. So you have to go to the Android and you have to create the files here. And the file name. So let me create a file. So let's suppose write the code here. Save the files and where you are going to save the files here. I'm selecting this one. And the file name must be local dot properties so once again i'm going to npm sorry npx creative run and write so wait for a few seconds until unless we have to download each and everything Okay, so now we have successfully built. So it's working on my Android device. It's saying building 100 percent welcome to react native so if you open this one this project which you have just downloaded in your editor any kind of editor let's suppose this is the app dot json file and this is the application file fine so if you are going to change something you have to change from here like it's showing you read the docs for shakes tech refresh so now as you can see you have the read the docs for shakes so that means your app is working fine so you have to write all the things all the all the code in this typescript fine so this is an app of typescript you also have the another file which is the index.js that is the entry point of your project so the project is working from here 